Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and in this video I want to show you my solution to mount the Sony RX100 to the Crane M gimbal. The problem with uh, making the Sony work with the Crane M gimbal is that Sony in its infinite wisdom decided that it was a good idea to put the tripod hole off center instead of right at the center and because of this when you're normally mounting to the crane you can't put it right up against the motor because this is off center and therefore it was usually mounted like this with this gap and that resulted in having to move the gimbal this way and as a result you cannot do a 360 what happens is uh, it will this motor because that's been pulled out it will get hit here and you can't do a 360. My first solution to fix it was to uh, buy this grip and I have a video on that. I'll link the video below on how I use this grip to fix it. And this grip basically what it does is it mounts onto the RX100. And so do, let me mount it on here. So it mounts on the RX100 and what it then does is there is another tripod hole on this grip and that moves the tripod to the center which would allow me to butt the camera right next to the motor and allow me to do my 360 turn. The problem with this setup was that A, it was very cumbersome when I had to change battery and the RX100 goes for a lot of battery. So when I change the battery, first I need to remove the camera from the gimbal and then I would need to remove this grip. And after I remove the grip, then I, then I can get to the battery. And after I, yeah, so then I can get to the battery and after I get the battery, I can put the grip back on and then mount it back on this and yeah, so it's, uh, I wanted a more elegant solution. It did work, it did work, but I came up with the ultimate solution and that is basically, I made a new back plate. So this is the, uh, this is the regular back, back plate that comes with the Crane M and if you look at it here, you see what I, so what I did was uh, I had a new, black, a new back plate machine using a CNC machine and that with the new mounting bracket much closer to the motor. So if you look at that, this is a standard mounting bracket which the most thing goes here. This one stops right here. So that allows me to mount the Sony right next to the motor. And, and I also didn't need it as Y. So I didn't need the, uh, I didn't need to move it left and right anymore. Like move, move it this way simply because this bracket was made just for the Sony RX100. So let me, let me show this to you now. So now because uh, I moved the mounting hole, I can now just mount this on here. Let me show you. Without, without the grip, no need for the grip. Right next to the motor here. And there you go. So now, beautiful, huh? Yeah. So now it's right next to the motor. That means I could do full 360 and there's no need to do the balance this way because this was pre-done, pre-done on the CNC machine. So, so now I just turn it on here and I see it is balance, balance, balance. So then I just turn on the gimbal. There you go. And now I can do 360 this way and 360 that way too. So both ways, but before using, using this combination, I can do, I can go this way, but I can't go that way because, well, because this thing stuck out to about here. And if I go this way, it would hit, it would hit. All right. So now I can do it either way and check this out too. This is so cool because I have it now, I have it, this, this plate is just balancing like that without this a big end plate like that. I can also do, check this out. 360 this way. <laughs> I mean, is that cool or what? Huh? So I have 360 all the way around. Complete control RX100. Now, Getting a custom CNC machine plate to make a whole new plate uh, to replace this plate, you can uh, you can ask a machine shop to do it, but 
the person who made this plate for me has set up an eBay store to sell this. All right, so if you have an RX100 and you have a Crane Am and you want like to make it work perfectly that you can do complete movement, complete movement, then uh, I'll have the link to an eBay store uh, in the below this video and you can buy this, uh, this plate, less than $30, which is basically the same price as this thing. I think I got, I believe I got this thing from, from China, uh, Ali, uh, AliExpress for about 30 bucks. So you can get this for $30. And I think this is a much, much more elegant solution. It's also bonus, uh, actually about the same weight, but definitely more compact, custom made. And I suppose uh, maybe the next version will go get it anodized black so it matches, but I kind of like the, uh, the shiny aluminum look. Looks custom. So if you people see this, they know that this was a custom piece. So anyway, uh, this is a solution for the RX100. If you have an RX100 Mark, uh, Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 5, this is a Mark 5, and you have a Crane Am and you've been pissed off because you can't, you know, do the, uh, do that because the, yeah, because the way, because the Sony put the tripod hole off center, this plate will allow you to fix that up issue and you can do complete 360 every way, all right? So that's it. Link to the eBay store to get this plate below this video. JohnShelfandJohnShelf.com. I hope you like this little uh, tech, uh, tech video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.